guys, it's Katie from Crafty, and today I want to show you how to use the contour tool in Cricut Design Space. So the first thing we're going to do is upload our image. We are going to be making um, these little tooth keepsake bags. So we've got a cute tooth image that we're going to upload. Take it and drag it into Design Space and it will upload for you. And then you're going to select the image type. We are going to choose complex in this case because there's a couple different portions of the image. So just select that and hit continue. The next thing we're going to do is erase the background image. So you want to select this little um, select and erase tool up here and just click on the background um, and it will automatically remove the white background for you and leave you with just the portions of the image that you want to cut. So that is all you need to do there. Hit continue and then you're going to choose save as cut image. You could use this print then cut if you are going to use printable vinyl um, and do a print and cut project, but for us we're just going to be cutting it out of um, regular color tra heat transfer vinyl, so we are going to choose cut image. Hit save, and then we will insert the image into the canvas. And you can see here it brings it in all as one layer. And what we want to do with the contour tool is basically break it into multiple layers so that we can cut this file in different colors of vinyl. So the first thing you're going to do is just highlight your, um, highlight your layer and then go down to the bottom right hand side and click this contour button. It's going to bring up this new window that says hide contour. Basically the contour tool lets you turn on and off different portions of your cut file um, and will leave you with the portions that you want to cut showing. So we're going to select the tooth first. Um, that'll be the first thing we contour. So just click on it and you can see over here in this right hand panel it gets um, hidden. So you can click on other portions of this design here to hide them. And so since we want to be left with this tooth here, we're going to click all the other portions and you can see it's going through and hiding them. And once that's done, you can exit out and you see all that we're left with is the tooth. Since we want two teeth, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. And now we've got two teeth here. And then we're going to duplicate it one more time and go back down to the contour button. And the next thing we're going to do is show the bow ties, the little bows. So you're going to click on those bows. You can see they're both highlighted, but we still have one of the teeth highlighted. So just go in, click on that tooth, and then we are going to be left with um, just the bow highlighted. So exit out of here, and we've got the bow here. And again, we're going to use two bows in our designs. So we're going to duplicate that. And then lastly, we're going to duplicate it one more time so that we can go back into the contour tool and we're gonna hide the bow tie and we are going to show these little faces. Um, so you just go in, click on everything you need, and then click on the bow tie so we're hiding it. And you can also see in this panel to the right um, the different layers. So if it's easier, you can select directly within this right-hand panel. Um, but we've got one, um, one of these little faces highlighted so we're going to exit out, and here is the face that we're left with. So because we need two of them, we're going to duplicate it. And then finally, we are going to make these layers different colors so that Design Space knows we're going to be cutting them in different colors of vinyl. So just select your teeth. I'm going to go ahead and make mine white because we're using white vinyl. Um, you really could make them whatever color you want. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the color of vinyl you put on your mat. Um, and then our bows are going to be gold, so we're going to select those and I'll change them to this orange color. And now if we were going to um, hit make it, it would take us to our mats and you'd see them separated by color. But before we do that, I just want to um, test this out to make sure everything is sized correctly. So I'm going to take these separate layers and kind of put them where I want them to go after they're cut and pressed. So you can see everything is sized correctly. Um, I think that looks good. You just want to check whatever you're putting these on. Um, double check the sizing before you cut them on vinyl. 
So finally we're going to hit make it. And you can see we've got three different mats here. We've got the white mat for the teeth, the black mat for the little faces, and the orange mat for the bows and bow tie. Um, because we're working with heat transfer vinyl, you always want to select this mirror button. So you're going to go through each um, mat and hit mirror. And then you are going to be ready to go. So you're going to go down to, um, to the bottom right and you're going to hit make it. And then you're going to follow all the on-screen prompts for um, actually doing the cutting. So that is it. The contour tool is really easy and it's really handy. Um, if you have images like this that you want to hide and show portions of, it's super helpful. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.